Five people are dead after another round of severe storms ripped through the southeastern U.S. Nearly two dozen tornadoes were reported in Alabama and Georgia, leaving behind a trail of damage that stretches for miles. Omar Villafranca reports from some of the hardest hit communities. Wave after wave of severe storms pounded the south overnight, dropping tornadoes in the metro Atlanta area. Earlier in the day, storms battered Alabama. Carol Tomlin woke up just in time to take cover in her bathroom before a tornado slashed through her Birmingham neighborhood. I just got in the tub and put the pillows over my over my head and um, in the blanket and just prayed. But I could hear the tree, hear things hitting the house and the house was shaking. She survived, but her neighborhood was badly damaged. Half of her neighbor's roof and wall tossed in her backyard. Tornadoes raked across the south, leaving behind extensive damage. Dozens of homes reduced to rubble and lives lost. The Calhoun County Coroner's Office said three of the five people killed here when the tornado struck were family members. Residents tried to quickly clean up the damage during a brief break in the storm. People in Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama are picking up the mess and sorting through what's left of their homes. For some people in Bibb County, this was a first. I've never experienced a storm before in my life this bad, and I did hear it sounded like a train coming. Kayla Mayfield is just grateful her family survived. The four people that were with me are all I have living in this world. We bunkered down, we prayed to our heavens, we missed us by six feet, and we're here with God's grace. Thousands of people in this area are still without power, so now as the sun is coming up, they're able to start cleaning up, but they will not get a break because there is more chance of rain possibly today in the forecast. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Calhoun County, Alabama. Last month's crippling winter storm and massive power blackouts in Texas killed more than 100 people. State leaders just revised the original death toll amount of 57. Most of the 111 deaths were associated with hypothermia. Other causes of death include carbon monoxide poisoning, vehicle crashes, fires, and medical equipment failure. The National Weather Service says that damages from the winter weather could surpass that from Hurricane Harvey in 2017 and could be the most costly weather disaster in state history. Straight ahead, how KFC is doing its part to feed homebound seniors.